Friday morning. Still noisy as ever in this shop. We got machines over there doing what they do. Now it's time for me to get some of this wiring started. I'm gonna have to pull this panel off right here. I made this three pieces for a reason so I can get to everything below. So this whole panel is gonna come off and I can start hooking up those external regulators over there and a couple relays and a couple other little wires. When everything's all said and done, then I'll put that panel with the step down modules on it back in its spot. The next phase of this build isn't gonna be exciting at all. It's just tedious wiring. Little wire, big wire, wire everywhere. It's really not gonna be that fun to watch. So we're gonna go into time lapse just to let you know that I'm doing the work and so you can see it happening, but to cut the boring part out. So this is where I'm at so far. We got some zero gauge on the fuse holders and on the grounding block. We gotta run them to their spots and I can mount that back where it goes. Like I said, one wire at a time. So I'm happy.
see we got the little step down modules here. We're gonna go with the blue wire because I only need to drop this down a couple of volts. In case you're wondering what those holes were for when I first designed this, I had some square holes underneath it. Check out the last video I made to see what I'm talking about. That's the reason why. So I don't need all these wires. I'm gonna eliminate the orange one. I'll probably just tuck it away because future use I may need it. I don't know. But we're gonna tap in 14 volt input positive on one side and the step down on the other and that's going to head on over to that other fuse holder right over there and that part will be done i know on your end these wiring videos are boring it's just me with my arms inside of the engine compartment moving stuff around struggling having screws tip over while i'm trying to screw stuff down trying to cut zip ties trying to move wires around two or three times because i'm not happy with it but the best i could do it's time lapse and a little bit of beat in the background maybe and just show you that I did the work. It doesn't just happen all by itself. I still got to do it. So let's dive back into a little bit more time lapse until I get these little modules done. Regulators are in, main power wires are in, the wires ran to the back are not in yet. Don't mind the wiring, we're just testing right now. And it's time to fire this thing up and see how it's doing. We got the Fluke on the left, we got the SMD AMM1 on the right. Regulators are working. The alternators are all working. They're all charging really nice. I got everything set for 17 volts on the dot, cold start. Probably once they heat up and I'm driving around town, 16.5, 16.8, so it'll come down just a little bit. But overall, this is working great. The truck itself doesn't mind being on 17 volts, so I'll probably leave it like that. But I do have two of these things over in the corner that people keep asking me about. They're called XS Power Step Down Modules. So one of those fuse blocks right there, it's for 12 volt stuff. And this one is for the 14 volt stuff, which is basically 14.5 and 17. I'll use that for my head unit and my processors probably, maybe. But more than anything, I'll have myself an extra spot for sensitive items if need be. So I'm just planning ahead. And yes, the wiring on these alternators right now is super janky. Only because I'm just testing it out, making sure everything's working before I run any big cables. All this crap is coming off. It's gonna be super nice here in a few minutes. Actually, not a few minutes, uh, a few days. But as you can see, we're still charging strong, we're good. Most excellent. switch over to this side yep
Now I'm gonna shut the truck off and see what it looks like. Let's jump over here to this side, take a look at it. Back over here. And a nice solid 12.8. So 15.2, 15.3, resting. On the high side, 12.8. On the step down side, just in case I need to use it for something. The rest of the truck can have the 17 volts. It seems to take it just fine. So we're just gonna leave it like that. See how it goes. Next stage, rip all this temporary wiring off of here and make it proper. Send all my two watts to the back. That's what we have so far. Everything's working great. All four alternators are charging super strong, as expected. Step downs are stepping down, as expected. And all I got left to do is run a whole bunch of Sky High Car Audio 2 watt cable. And I got it all right here ready to go. And this ain't even all of it. I got another spool of red and another spool of black on the way. And these are 150 feet each, so that should tell you what's about to happen. The next time you see this truck, I will be running long runs of big cables. If you've been watching, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. I'm out.